हेलो स्टूडेंट्स कैसे हैं हाउ आर यू एक्चुअली आई वॉज नॉट वेल एंड नॉट फिट सो द वीडियो इज कमिंग टू लेट टूडे वी सेल प्रूफ थ्योरम टेन पॉइंट टू ऑफ चैप्टर सर्कल्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ ओके बिफोर स्टार्टिंग वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो ओके लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो Theorem 10.2. According to Theorem 10.2, if the angles subtended by the chords at the center are equal, then the chords are equal. Uh, first of all, we shall discuss about this theorem. What is this theorem saying? According to this theorem, if this is a circle and this is the center, suppose that there are two chords. One chord is A B, and one chord is C D. Okay. If, according to this theorem, if both of these chords subtend equal angle at the center, okay, it means that this the angle subtended by this chord at the center and the angle subtended by this chord at the center are equal. If both of these angles are equal, then the chords. Then the chords should be equal. So we have to prove that the chords will be equal. Which chords? A, B, and C, D. Okay. Uh, now we have got the theorem, and now we shall prove this theorem. Okay. In order to prove this theorem, first of all, we shall draw a circle. Okay. Let this be a circle. Uh, center is O. Now we shall have to draw two chords. Take two points A and B. Join these points, then this will be a chord. So uh, certainly, take another point C and D over there here. Join these points, and this will be the second chord. Okay. Now. According to the theorem, the angles subtended by the chords at the center are equal. Uh, first of all, we shall join OA and OB in order to subtend the angle at the center, and similarly, we shall join C and D also. Now, we can write in given. In given, we can write. A C O R in C O R A B and C D are two chords such that angle A O B. Is equal to angle C O D. Okay, we have to prove to prove what we have to prove. We have to prove that both of these chords are equal. A B is equal to C D. Okay, now we shall prove it. We shall write here proof. In order to prove these sides are these chords are equal, we we shall have to we shall look in uh, both of these triangles. There are two triangles, triangle A O B and triangle C O D. Okay, we shall have to make them congruent. If both of these, if we uh, if we make both of these triangles congruent, then uh, we can easily prove that A B equal to C D. First of all, we shall write in triangle AOB and triangle COD. We have what we have. You know, this is OA. OA is a radius, okay, and OC is also a radius because uh, in earlier classes I have explained you clearly that. Uh, 
the line segment joining the center and any point on the circle is called the radius of the circle so this is the center and this is the point on the circle then this will be the radius and this will also be the radius so oa is equal to oc why because they are radii of the same circle similarly this is also the radius and this is also radius hence we can write ob is equal to od same reason radii of the same circle now one more thing we have to do it is given that this angle is equal to this angle so we can write angle aob is equal angle cod why it is being given in chapter 7 we have studied the two triangles are congruent there are many criteria to make two triangles congruent one is sss and one is side angle side sas so look here there are two sides two sides of this triangle and two sides of this triangle are equal and the included angle the angle just formed between these two sides is called the included angle the two sides and the included angle and from uh, and, and in this triangle two sides and the included angle are equal hence both of these triangles are congruent by SAS therefore we can write therefore triangle AOB is congruent triangle COD by SAS or side angle side okay now just look here uh, in theorem 10.1 i have already told you that there is cpct or c, c represents corresponding np parts c for congruent and t for triangles cpct means corresponding parts of congruent triangles so corresponding parts of congruent triangles are always equal so we can take see here ab and the corresponding side to ab is equal to here cd and the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are always equal hence therefore ab is equal to cd y by cp ct now we have proved the theorem